Chris, did you know that child car seats actually have an expiration date? I sure did, Sherry. However, it's not something your average parent tends to think about. The public really doesn't know that a car seat can expire like a carton of milk or some food items. Um, in general, we're looking at about six years uh, for an expiration date, and that's from the date that it's manufactured uh, or not, and not the date that you buy it or that you start using it. Where can parents actually locate this manufacture date or expiration date on a car seat? So if you flip the car seat over, there should be a sticker on the bottom, and that'll tell you the manufacture date and the do not use after date, and you want to stick to that. So what's the difference between an infant car seat, a toddler car seat, a booster seat? You know, I mean, what's the difference and do they all have expiration dates? That's a great question, Sherry. The biggest difference between the bunch is the height and weight of the child that it will be supporting. There are three common categories of car seats. The first is an infant car seat. This will on average support from four pounds to 30 or 35 pounds and about 32 inches in height. The seat is also rear facing only and it's for about a child about one years old or younger. Next is a convertible car seat. This can be a rear facing or forward facing and it supports between 5 and 40 pounds and about 49 inches in height. It's also intended for a child about one year of age or a little bit older. Finally, the belt positioning booster seat. This is designed to raise your child so that the vehicle's lap and shoulder belt will fit correctly around their hips and shoulder. It is meant for children over two years of age, from 40 to 120 pounds, and from 38 to 63 inches in height. So Chris, is it really a good idea to purchase used car seats from your neighbors or at a garage sale or anything like that? Generally, no. Generally, you want to get a brand new car seat. That way it comes with the factory warranty and all that stuff, and it's, it's going to be pretty new from the manufacturer. You don't really want to get a used car seat because you don't know how it was treated before you bought it. And um, if you are going to buy one, make sure you look for those dates that we talked about. What I find interesting about this is I had no idea that car seats expire, of course my kids are grown, until I had a grandchild. And when I had a grandchild, this was just introduced to me. So this was very good information for me, and it will be great information for you.